Hello, and welcome back to space! Apparently, oh yeah, oh yeah, we are actually quite close to the moon. Oh, let's check it out! That doesn't look good. The lunar world is the world of monsters. Didn't you learn that in school? As you can see, the monsters are gathering at one point. History is about to repeat itself. The lunar cry is starting. They'll drop down onto the planet. This is called the lunar cry. Scary. Uh, wait, what? The monster's behavior becomes abnormal when there is, are irregularities in the moon and the planet's gravitational forces. I guess they're affected just like the tides are affected by the moon. Interesting. That would seem to suggest... Oh? What? <laughs> That's really scary. But, uh, what was I saying? Uh, right. That would seem to suggest that the or or that the uh, lunatic Pandora rather uh, somehow controls gravity well that cannot be a good thing Uh-oh. 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 Yep, we just got thrown into the wall. So, uh, here's the thing. Every time we touch her, we are going to get thrown off. Having said that, she walks really slowly, so, uh... Uh, Renoa. Yeah, we kind of just... We're... Well... Oh, there she is. I don't... I happen to know where she's going. <laughs> Which is good, because I just saved myself, like, probably three or four minutes right there. Uh-oh. Level 1 seal has been deactivated. Oh, yeah. Squall, look, the moon surface is changing. It does look like there's more monsters there than were before. If that's the case, we definitely have to stop her. If she plans to free Adele, she'll have to go out there. The level 2 seal is located on the tomb itself. Well. Right. I guess we'll chase after Renoa some more. She went this way, I think? I'm not really sure. Looks like it's payday. Uh, not 
here, I guess. Oh, now would actually be a good time to save a game. Like, seriously. I guess that was it. Okay, that looks very different now. I'm pretty sure some of those monsters in there don't fly. I mean, just, I'm throwing that out there. If you don't mind me, uh, still no draw point. Well, whatever. It's not important. Oh, okay. You're on the ground now. Wasn't like that before. I guess I better put one on. I feel like in the time it would have taken me to put this on, Renault would probably would have already been gone. Adele's tomb might fall somewhere near Esthar. Why is everything happening all at once? This is crazy! It's like someone planned the whole thing! Uh, the door closed. Who could have set this up? Altamisia. So, hmm. It's too dangerous now. We must leave the lunar base at once. We have to evacuate. Please hurry to the pod. Forget about me. Just go. Oh, it's the president! Please, sir, we must hurry! <laughs> He's going whether he wants to or not. Hey you! Take care of alone! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's adorable. I guess we better take care of alone then. Oh gosh, the lunar has started! Bernal is going to be swallowed by the flood of monsters.
So, uh, that's Adele. She's, uh, three times as tall as... She's gotta be, like, six meters tall. I know Sor- so sorcerers- sorceresses definitely get a little crazy with their bodies. Like, there's definitely something going on with them where if they use their power a lot, they become more monstrous. But I have a hard time believing that Adele is human. <laughs> Squall, you should be the one protecting Renoa, not me. Or you should be protecting Renoa, not me. You're the only thing in her mind right now. She's calling you. Alone, take me to Renoa, please. I don't know if I can send you. I don't know. sure what that was. Oh, hey, there's a save point. That's convenient. God! Renoa's going to die! I can't take it alone, please! I never felt this way in my life! Take me to Renoa, please. It may not work, but we'll try, okay? Escape pod, go! The space station was swallowed and destroyed by the lunar cry. Irvine, go back to the desert prison! No, it's your father's orders. I'm taking you back to Delling City. Ouch, are you crazy? We have to go back and help everyone! They'll be fine. I'm sure they can get out of there when it, the time comes. Eh. You don't know for sure. Squall might say, but no one has to order me to escape. And end up staying in there. We can't have that. We have to go help them. I don't care if I have to force you back. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll go, I'll go. ring? I don't know where he bought it. I want the same one. It looks really cool, doesn't it? You mean the one with some monster carved on it? Yeah! Alright, how about I make you one? I'm pretty good at that kind of thing. The 
Let's have Squall show us the real thing. We can't do that. Why not? It's embarrassing. Oh! Even Squall... Er, Zell. I think this is fair to say Squall as well. Is not that dense. Squall's nearly that dense, actually. At least for... At least about his own emotions. <laughs> but Renault's a lot less emotionally repressed than him, so... That wasn't it. That was too far back. Let's try again. Oh, my loyal knight, Cypher. The sorceress is alive. The sorceress demands. The future sorceress. Find the legendary lunatic Pandora, said to be hidden beneath the ocean. Only then shall the sorceress provide you with dreams again. As you wish, Ultimisia. Squall, I'm scared. So case in point, my sor using sorcerer's powers makes them more monstrous theory. Ultimisia has fucking wings and horns. Although she is still a lot more human looking than Adele, it must be said. By comparison, all uh, Adia has is like claws and some veiny shit going on. Did you find out what happened to Renoa? Were you able to change the past? I couldn't do anything. What should I do? I remember those eyes. You just looked at me with the same eyes you had when you were little. Those curious, innocent puppy dog eyes. I loved those eyes. That's in the past. That's right. What's important is right now, I finally realized it. I have to help Renoa now. That's the only thing I can do, right? Yes. Talk to her, Squall. Your voice may not reach her, but your heart will. Are you ready? I'm taking you to the nearest past. To the closest present. To the future. Remaining life support, 15 seconds. Am I gonna make it? How? I can't do anything. Drifting endlessly. I'm helpless. That's it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna 
die out here. Goodbye. Don't give up. Can you hear me? It's Squall, Renoa. Renoa. Try to remember. I'm right here there with you. Listen to me. You know though, even if she's out without air, she's probably still has at least five or ten minutes. Like, well first of all, you can so, well, because, like, she has the air still in her suit, right? And it's going to be a lot of carbon dioxide. She's going to pass out pretty quickly, probably. Which is actually a good thing, because it would make her air last longer. Uh, although, I guess, if you're drifting in space, that is of little comfort. I guess at least you'll be unconscious when you... Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this line of thought. <laughs> Suddenly... Oh. She still has Squall's ring. I'm still alive? Wall. What is that? Oh. he can get back. He's insane! He's gonna run out of fuel and life support in no time! They're both going to die.
there she is. We have to... We have to maneuver to face her. Uh, and we have to get there within the time limit. We... Really? Okay, so... I feel like I'm gonna miss her. <laughs> She's like way too far to that side right now. We can accelerate to her, but uh, our fuel supply, which we cannot actually see, is limited. So uh, we don't really want to use it until we're quite cool. Well, I've been using it sporadically throughout. Uh, But we're going to want it if, in case we need to make a last minute adjustment. And we are running out of time. Almost there. We got her! We did it. Squall, thank you. I heard your voice. I can't believe it. Are we going to make it? Don't worry. Out of fuel. Low on oxygen. What now? Die in space? I'm so helpless. Can I can't even save Renoa? Come on, think! Oh, well, that's convenient. Okay, so. A lot of people complain about this one. Like, a lot. Because it's sort of just there. Uh, and I sort of understand that. It is just way too convenient. Like, it was sort of established that it was... But sort of not that it was close to the space station. Because it was used to... Uh, or, or rather, it will have been established. It hasn't been yet. That it was close to the space station. But it wasn't actually at the space station, and it's like right here. It's just too convenient. It's a bit of a... it's uh... yeah. But it's here, and we're safe! And we survived, and we saved Renoa! Yay! You sort of have to wonder if she would have been able to get here by herself, but uh... Whatever. We made it! Oh, there it is. There's the door. Oh, hey, an achievement get. And on that note, with Renoa saved and us on, wait for it, the Ragnarok, uh, I'm going to call it here. Join me next time when we explore this strange new spacecraft. Uh, and generally just enjoy being, you know, alive. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with Chaos Blue, And have a terrific day. Bye.